As virtually all of the country's attention is focused on stopping the spread of COVID-19, authorities in the Upper West region are grappling with a health crisis of their own. The much-dreaded cerebral spinal meningitis CSM has claimed as many as 33 lives, way more than the five deaths recorded in Ghana's COVID-19 pandemic. The region has had a total of 214 confirmed cases with patients receiving treatment in four hospitals. Regional Director of the Ghana Health Service, Dr. Ose Kufo Afre, told journalists in Wa, the deaths are not confined to a particular district or age group. Correspondent Rafik Salam reports. Health authorities in the Upper West region are not only saddled with fighting the COVID-19 pandemic, but also have on their hands the yearly ritual cases of cerebral spinal meningitis, CSM, to deal with. In three months, the Upper West region has recorded 214 cases and 33 deaths, all fatalities coming from the CSM belt in the region. Uh, Nadoli, Jirapa, uh, Nandom, and then the Wa municipality. So the major hospitals in these mentioned districts are the major uh, facilities recording cases of meningitis. Uh, we've also recorded about 33 deaths of meningitis. And the uh, deaths are not confined to one particular district or age group. All age groups are being affected and uh, it's one of the serious things. Uh, mostly every year around this time, between November to March, April, uh, we tend to have cases of meningitis because the risk factors for transmission uh, are very high, the weather becomes very hot and dusty, uh, people's throats are dry, and we have all these predisposing factors. So unfortunately, this year, the weather has also not been good, so we are recording cases of meningitis, which is a serious worry to us. Upper West Regional Director of the Ghana Health Services, Dr. Osekufo Afre, threw more light on the symptoms of the disease that for years has consumed the lives of many in the region. Look for meningitis, uh, it's also uh, transmitted uh, by droplets through the air. So if somebody has it and the person sneezes and you breathe it, obviously you stand a chance of also getting meningitis. If you come into contact with the meningitis germ through fomites and then it managed to enter through any of your openings, you stand a chance of also getting it. The signs and symptoms are a little bit different from the COVID-19. With meningitis, uh, you have the high temperature is also there, just like COVID-19. It has, gives you a headache and then you have neck stiffness. Neck stiffness or difficulty in turning your neck left and right is a key. So if we have anybody who has a high temperature with headache and then difficulty in turning the neck. Unlike COVID-19, who does not have a treatment or a vaccine, meningitis have a lay down treatment protocol. And the treatment protocol, uh, it goes with needing some steroids, uh, some antibiotics, some infusions, and other complementary things that we have to do. So once we have these things are stopped, uh, in our stores, then it means once somebody comes, then it triggers the treatment protocol and we are able to manage the person. So like I said, we received some donations of antibiotics. We got some infusions also uh, last week, and I believe our stores are not depleted uh, uh, to offset the management of meningitis. The major challenge faced is the refusal by patients to report early to health facilities for treatment who Dr. Afre says has contributed to the higher cases in the last three months. People are misinterpreting stay at home if you have nothing to do with staying at home if they are sick. But we say that once you are sick, please link up with the health systems. And then once we check your system or examine you and we realize that you have meningitis, then we can start a treatment as soon as possible. So our main challenge is early late reporting to our facilities and what we are preaching is that people should report early so that we can treat them on time. Reporting for the news, Rafik Salam. Wow.